Hey everyone, in this tutorial series I thought it would be fun and interesting to um, explain how to set up a Proxmox um, hypervisor on a server. Um, so what Proxmox is, it's a hypervisor which basically means it allows you to um, install virtual machines on the server, so multiple virtual machines. Um, so you can see here I have a bunch of different machines running in this one, um, they call them data centers, but in this one cluster of uh, uh, VMs. Um, and I'm actually going to be installing it on showing you how to install it on a Dell R710 um, just because that happens to be the server that I have um, at my house and I'm able to play with so I'm going to go through the steps to install Proxmox on this Dell R710 and then I'm going to walk through setting up a few different virtual machines so I have this open media vault um, virtual machine running and that's basically um, a way to it's I don't, it's a, I, you might have heard of FreeNAS. This is sort of an alternative to FreeNAS. It's basically a um, software that uh, handles data and um, basically makes your drives into a network area storage device. Um, so you can see here, I actually have this Fran Archives 2. Um, this, with my music in it, this is coming from um, um, an open media vault um, drive. I'll show you what that means later. Uh, I also have this Plex machine running, so Plex is uh, a way to host all of your media. So actually, you can see here my music, uh, you know, this is the source of this Plex um, right here. Um, so I'm going to go through how to set that up as well. Uh, OpenVPN, so OpenVPN, it's just a VPN um, software so you would install this on the VM and then install client on your you know on your laptop or your phone um, and then you can have a, a VPN setup which um, you know allows you to uh, act as if you were on your own network even if you were somewhere else so you know if you leave your house and you want to access um, these files um, with the VPN you just turn on the VPN and it thinks you're inside your home network even if you're you know, using your data uh, far away from like your ce your cellular data, um, and th this comes in handy if you if you need to access files um, remotely. Um, and I also have this Open Drone Mapper (ODM). Uh, I, I'm going to make a video about this, but this might not be interesting to everyone. But Open Drone Map is a way to pro it's a free way to process um, drone imagery, uh, and I'm sort of into drones and it's one of my hobbies, so I'm going to go through that process as well. Um, why did I choose Proxmox? Uh, you might be wondering. So I, I looked into a bunch of different hypervisors and did some research and Proxmox is basically a free uh, open source one with uh, had a lot of good um, support. And there were plenty of forums for um, finding things out. The other one I think was called ESXi. This is a really popular one. It's the VMware, but uh, I think they see it's proprietary. They might have like a free version that you can use. Um, I don't know if they have a trial for a certain amount of days or uh, there was some limitation that um, I decided to go with Proxmox. And I've been running this for um, probably like four months and it's been awesome. Um, totally happy with it. Um, so that I, that's just why I decided to go with Proxmox. Um, so if any of this sounds interesting, um, just stick around and, and I'll show you how to how to get this up and running. Oh, just some other cool things. You know, you can see all of the um, um, basically what's running on the computer. So the memory usage, CPU usage. You can actually get into the console just from this interface, so you don't have to like remote desktop in or use PuTTY to connect. Um, it is better, but if you just need to quickly check something, you can just do this. Um, for example, so this, these are all Linux machines. This one happens to be Windows. So if I go to the console here, um, I think it's like sleeping. Just need to hit Control Alt Delete, and you can see um, there's our Windows machine. Um, yeah. So if any of that sounds interesting, just stick around, and um, I'll show you exactly how I got all this up and running.